What's up, y'all? Happy Monday, people. Boop, boop. It is a brand new week to make some awesome changes in your life. Mondays are always full of new opportunities. What? You want to come say hello to the people? No. Okay. Well, Mom, I thought changes are tired. Changes are tired? Not sure what that means, but okay. Changes are tired, y'all. So, today I'm going to be writing a blog about picky eaters. I personally don't really have that problem. Most of my kids, Chloe's kind of, she's not really, I wouldn't say she was picky. Because she ate some raw sushi last week, so. That was really good. I don't think she's really picky. She's just kind of a teenager, and they eat weird stuff, but. What kinds every day? They want fast food every day. No, it's not happening. Sorry, Chloe. Anyway, so I'm going to be writing a blog about picky eaters, tips on how you can help your picky eater to try new things, and to kind of get <laughs> to get past the picky eating. Get out of my video. Bye. Wait until I'm done. Good night. Are y'all constantly interrupted like I am constantly interrupted? Takes me forever to get anything done because constant interruption. I love you too. Bye. Okay, picky eaters. That's today's topic. If you have a picky eater and you have tips that I can use in my blog since I don't have really have picky eaters, let me know in the comments. Okay? I appreciate it. I'm going to share with some people. It's not about eating canes every day. Of course, everybody would eat canes every day. I mean, that sauce, though. What? Yes, right, Ann? <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Okay, y'all. <laughs> what you talking about, Marie? Who has picky eaters? I need to hear from y'all. Dip that bread in the sauce. What? Dip that stuff on anything, man. I would dip my broccoli in that cane sauce for real, though. <laughs> yes, and hiding veggies. That is another good one. All right. Hiding the veggies in the meals. That is an awesome tip. Yes. You got a picky eater, Marie? What do you do? I make I make people and mermaids and Peppa Pig out of food, so they don't really have a choice. And I start them off eating weird things or non-typical, atypical things that kids eat. So they kind of conditioned. Dips, yes. We love dips around here too. There you go, bribery, Marie. <laughs> bribery works. That's a tactic. You're not getting the iPad. <laughs> if you don't eat your food, you will not get that iPad. Do you hear me? It's not going to happen. Yes. One good tip that I saw was uh, glamorize the vegetables and talk about how the vegetables are kind of the star of the meal. So instead of saying you're having chicken and broccoli, you're having broccoli with chicken. I don't know how well that would work, but... <laughs> Do they eat it? Does it work? The bribery about the iPad, does that work? All right, guys. I am going to jump off of this, and I'm going to take all of your valuable information. Everything's chicken. <laughs> Whatever works, right? I mean, it's a healthy protein. We can roll with that. All right, y'all, picky eaters. I'm going to do some magic with all these tips. Put it into a blog and put a cute picture on it, and we will be good. Oh, Jessica, I have a husband like that, too. My kids eat great. I'm so glad. I'm glad they didn't inherit that from him, but, yeah. What is up with that? I feel like some people say toddlers, you know, they kind of asserting their independence and... 
they eventually grow out of that, but I don't understand. I really have trouble comprehending this. I don't understand how a grown person is still picky. I'm just not like that. I feel like it's a mental thing. It's hard for me to, um, you know, when you're grown up and you don't like your foods to touch. You're grown up. You are grown up. Anyway. Oh, now Chloe has joined the video. <laughs> she was in the video. Now she's joined watching the video. Yeah. Because you're all happy. Well, thank you. You're awesome, too. My three-year-old eats great. Husband is awful. Eight-year-old kind of watches his dad. I'm about to be hiding things in food. Yeah. Sometimes you have to. I don't know. I think sometimes just trying to get them to taste it. You know, and I've always, I've always thought and I've done with my kids when they were little, trying to teach them how to um, try different things, different tastes and different flavors. Just keep reintroducing it to them, maybe in a different way. Yeah. So, I think that's another good tip that I can use too. All right, peeps. Well, thanks for jumping on here with me. I'm going to go get busy and hopefully I will be done posting it by midnight tonight. Have a good one. Happy Monday. Make it a great week. See y'all tomorrow.